Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Woodfield on the Ardoyne. We stand here protesting for our democratic right. We are Democrats. Have to say, our people are not Democrats. Though they betray themselves as Democrats. They're in position because of gerrymandering. Now, I warn you what would happen. There would be an agreement. Everybody knew there was going to be an agreement. But then they had to make choreography. When I hear that word choreography, I know that there's something hidden. I was waiting on Len Goonman and Lionel Blair coming up to lead the dance. I have to say this, Brian. I worry. Why do I worry? Because they're going to reorganise Stormont. But it's like asking turkeys to vote for Christmas. There's no chance. They're going to reduce it to nine day. That's still too many, Brian. Still too many. And they have to keep jobs for the boys. Brian, I sympathise with the people of Paris and the people of France of what happened to them. All of a sudden, all the democracies in the world have now come forward and they're going to fight terrorism, they're going to do this, and they're going to do that. Pity, for 40 years we suffered what the people of Paris suffered. I name them, t -Bon, the Abercorn, Bloody Friday, Darkly Mission Hall, White Cross, and a skeleton. Brown, the same things that happened in Paris happened to us. And what really gets me up is that people who caused the mayhem here are now coming out and condemning the people. They wouldn't be where they were today if they hadn't bombed and killed their way. And a weak government let them in. Brown, I listen. I'm warning you now. Why are ISA fighting? Well, they got their example from Sinn Féin IRA because they bombed and killed their way in the government, Brown. And ISA is taking that as an example. Really, what worries me is that America would not accept what we had to accept. No other democratic country in the world would accept what we had to accept. So, Brian, I'll ask you now. Watch, look, and wait and see what happens. Brian, I am standing here at the voice of the wilderness. If you say anything against the government, you're wrong. Brian, I'm not wrong, and you know I'm not wrong. They have bombed their way in the government. They got rid of our police force. They got rid of other institutions that we had. The governor was replaced here. Anything British is not acceptable to Republicans. And they make no excuse for it. I noticed one thing happened Brian this week was the SDLP mentioned Northern Ireland. That's the first time I ever heard them saying Northern Ireland. They usually say the North or the North of Ireland. Brian, maybe that's a wee bit of a move the right way, but what I'm saying is Brian, if Sinn Féin is in government. It's like a Trojan, Trojan horse. They're in there. And you know what happened to Troy when the Trojan, they destroyed it? Why should the bomb and kill now? They can destroy it within. Brother, listen to me. Remember, we stand for democracy. And I listen 
to people, the money people would be on the dole if they reduced the MLS. But the only thing is, Brian, it's sir. Uh, Kith and Ken who are working for them. Nepotism was created by this agreement. Also, there's the old Paul's uh, network, which was rewarded as well. Brother, it's wrong. No other democratic court in the world would let it happen, except a weak British government. Brother, I sympathize again, I say, with the people of Paris. It was a very dastardly thing that happened. But Brown, the same thing happened here. And the democracies of the world stood back. Matter of fact, some of them even paid for the for the, for terrorism. The money that was raised in America was used for guns. My brother, three hundred and thirty two of them were slaughtered and the majority of them were guns that were bought and supplied by America. Brian, go home, think about it. You're going to get overwhelmed by the British government uh, propaganda machine. Propaganda means a distortion of the truth. So Brian, beware. I hate to hear people saying our propaganda is not right. We don't use propaganda because we don't tell lies. Brian, thank you very much for being here. God bless you and go home. And I hope that over the next couple of weeks, when you're going up towards Christmas, you'll thank God for the gift of a son which saved the world. Brian, we'll finish off, not with the March yes. Finish with the national anthem of the United Kingdom. God save our gracious Queen. Long live our noble Queen. God save the Queen. Send her victorious, happy and glorious. Long to over us, God save the Queen. The Queen, God bless her.